Boon Elimination. Press and hold the active ability button on a doll or hex totem to bless it and create a boon totem. Soft chimes ring out in a radius of 24 meters. All survivors benefit from the following effects when inside the boon's totem radius. The auras of all the chests and generators are revealed to you in blue. Increase your action speeds for blessing and cleansing by up to 10% while you have a lit boon totem. Survivors can only be affected by one instance of boon illumination at a time. Only one totem can be blessed by your boon perks at a time. All of their effects are active on the same boon totem. I did some different perk boots. I went ahead and did some boons. Did boon exponential, boon illumination, and the healing boon, along with deja vu. Boon exponential allows you to stand up when you're in a dying state. The healing boon shows your aura when you're injured. Illumination shows you everything and allows you to cleanse or break totems 10% faster. And then I threw on deja vu so that I could see the three closest gens while standing in the boon and seeing all the gens just to get a better layout. I then ran detective's hunch so that I could find totems better. I was looking for more of a layout in the middle of all the totems so that the boon could be the most accurate instead of on the corner of the map. Trying to take advantage of this perk fully with the 10% cleansing speed or blessing speeds. I then ran clairvoyance, the healing boon, and counter force. I wanted to see how fast can I cleanse a totem? Is this worth it? Could just boon illumination be maybe a part of a totem build instead of a boon build? What I've seen, I would think that this is more for beginners who don't understand what a three gen is, so that they can stand in the boon and get a layout of all of the gens and see it better. Or maybe run it as a totem build, but just by itself, I don't know. If I was running with a team of people, I would not use this. I would use it more for maybe when I'm solo so that people don't can't three gen us. Because I find that when I'm in the solo queue, I get three gen all the time and I'm constantly trying to counter not being three gen because survivors aren't paying attention. 